Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt and today I'm going to be taking you through a tour of OSX Mavericks, the next big release of the world's most advanced operating system coming this fall. So let's get started here. The first feature I can't show you, but it is an application, um, iBooks. So with iBooks, you can read books on your Mac, uh, magazines, basically what you can do on your iPad or iPhone, iOS device. Uh, you can read books on your Mac now, and it syncs up between uh, iCloud, so that's pretty neat. Next app I want to show you is Maps, so we can jump right in here. And it's just like Maps for your iPhone or iOS device. Um, you know, it works great. It's pretty smooth, loads pretty fast. Um, this is just the uh, developer preview, so um, but it does seem like it works pretty good. Uh, we can type in a place here, like New York. And we can go to uh, the Empire State Building. Here we go. Works pretty smoothly. And uh, we can jump into Flyover View here, just like you can on your um, iOS device. And it looks great. Renders very smoothly. You can do a 360 kind of view here. And pretty cool. You can see all the streets, stuff like that. And with directions now, you can sync between your iOS device and your Mac. So if you can get directions on your Mac and then if you're headed out the door, you grab your iPhone, you have the directions already there. So pretty cool. So you can do uh, with a share sheet, pretty neat. Uh, you got your satellite view, standard view, and yeah. So that is Maps. Pretty cool uh, application. Um, now comes standard on the, on the on Mavericks. So the next thing I want to show you is calendars. With calendars, um, you can uh, you can't really do anything new, but uh, they did change the design so it looks a lot better. Uh, you can see the day view, week view, you can easily add events very quickly, very easily. Month view, you do have holidays, you've always had those, you can uh, turn those off if you don't like them. And it's what the year view looks like, so just a new design. Uh, not much there. Safari got a pretty, pretty good update. Uh, you now have your top sites laid out like this, which is a pretty cool design. Um, so this shows all your top sites, like your top site screen. If you click here, you get your bookmarks bar. So um, all your bookmarks, bookmarks are on the side here. Um, you can add them, you can delete them. Uh, you can see your reading list. Pretty cool. And if you hook this up with your Facebook or Twitter, you can see um, shared links. So you can see all your uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, links on here too. I don't have that hooked up right now, but you can if you want to. Um, so you can jump into a website here, apple.com. You know, it works very smoothly. Uh, it's more efficient and it performs a lot better, uh, this new Safari. So uh, definitely a lot faster. Next thing I want to show you is notifications. Um, when you do get a notification, um, I don't think it's working right now because I've tried this, but we can try it again. So here we go. I send myself a message. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't show, but usually what happens is, and it's just the same as Mountain Line, it pops down and it will show uh, your message. And uh, so it's obviously not working because it's not even in the notification center, but uh, it'll pop down and you can choose a quick reply to it. So without even having to go into the messages app, you can just quick reply straight from the notification itself. Pretty neat. And uh, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it new with notifications there. So just uh, you can, you're able to quick reply. Another cool feature, you do get keychains, which is basically like one password for your Mac. Uh, what you, what it allows you to do is um, uh, sign in using, uh, without having to remember your password or anything, your username, you can just click on it and it will show up. It'll pop down if you've already uh, set it up. Uh, it uses iCloud, so um, it'll sync between uh, your Macs, so it's pretty smooth and uh, works pretty good multiple displays uh, so they now have the support support for multiple displays they've always had that but you it's better uh, implemented I guess you can now uh, run full screen apps on one display such as like a external display or a TV and you can still use your desktop without having to um, you know switch back and forth so that's pretty neat another cool thing you do get is finder tabs so instead of having all your finder windows open here this window has uh, tabs in it but Without having all your Finder windows open, you can just have tabs now. So it's easy to create one. You just go to File, New Tab, or Command T, and you do get tabs, which is pretty cool. Better organization, or it's better for organization, and uh, you know it looks it looks a lot cleaner. So uh, you also do get a new feature here. You can see tags, and that basically just allows you to sort your information a lot better. 
you can see all your tags. You can see uh, just your red ones, orange ones. Um, I tag this document, and you can remove them easily. You can add them easily, you know, so they pop back. Pretty cool. Uh, so that's tabs, um, or tags, and that's tabs for your finder. So those are just a few updates. So not a lot of updates for uh, Mavericks, but you do get some cool new features such as the maps and uh, iBooks applications. Um, you do get better battery life for those uh, MacBook uh, Pro users and the MacBook Air users. You get um, uh, quick reply for messages, like I said, lock screen notifications, um, auto updating apps in the background, and you do get a redesigned calendar UI, which you saw there. So guys, that's basically it for um, OS X 10 Mavericks Developer Preview 1. Uh, I'll be sure to update you when new developer previews do come out. Uh, but for now, guys, uh, if you like my video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.